Hello folks, uh, this is uh, Kinky doing Ar Army Man World at War Part 13. Uh, nothing really much here to add on this part of it. And also Save Save Views was actually just one because I didn't know how to work the switch. Uh, as you can tell, there's pretty, actually pretty neat detail for the uh, tr terrain of those bridges. And uh, I do love the train cannon. Uh, it, th this uh, vehicle does make a repeat ap appearance, and I don't remember which game it is, but it does make a repeat appearance. And that was a staff pan car. Uh, basically, like World War II, there was uh, German staff cars, and uh, that apparently was a tan staff car. There's an additional attention to detail that uh, could have been missed, and I missed it the first video, the first playthrough of this. So, uh, kudos again to 3 dio for having a lot of attention to detail. Anyway, at this point in time, it looks like we're ch uh, the tan are retreating out of the blue territory, and we're doing the uh, final assault on. Uh, What's, what's left of their retreating forces to try to uh, get them to surrender. So uh, this is probably be the end of the blue ca campaign. And uh, and we have to see what's next of merriment and follies. But it was nice of 3DO to actually incorporate another nation fully rather than just having a couple of uh, either one character or like a couple of missions and then that was it. This actually had a full chapter dealing with one nation. Uh, I know Army Man 3D works with uh, Gray and look at that. I just shot a plane out of the sky with an anti-tank gun. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, it's, it's nice of 3DO to do that uh, kind of touch of actually letting allies be allies and uh, working together rather than it's green versus uh, tan and then blue is just kind of eh and tan, I mean, and gray is prisoners of war. It was a nice touch that they actually included them in the wars. Unfortunately, we've only seen one gray soldier this entire war. It's kind of sad, really. Maybe we'll see some more. I hope we do, because it's kind of unfair that blue gets all the attention and none of the grays. Uh, supposedly in army men lore, uh, the grays were supposed to be uh, Sarge's uh, most feared enemy uh, by his grandpa, or something to that effect. Uh, that's from Army Man 3D. And yet, uh, they have nothing uh, to do with them at all during the storyline. It, it's kind of sad, really, that they put so much emphasis to say that in the backstory that that was Sarge's most uh, kind of uh, feared uh, nation, and yet nothing happens. It's kind of sad. Uh, but uh, what can you do? Anyway, it looks like I shot another plane out of the sky with my anti-tank gun. So we're uh, at least two for three on that thing. <laughs> now, now, like I said here, uh, there is going to be one save state, and that's just because I don't really know how to work the switch, and... I figured it out post video of this. Uh, basically, once you get to the switch section, you switch to your pom pom gun, uh, which is like pretty much a, a anti aircraft artillery gun, and uh, you just shoot that switch there and make sure that the uh, X is on the left side. That's all you gotta do. Uh, basically, think Star Fox and changing the switch. And pretty much, and the final bridge is obviously marked with a prompt saying, destroy the bridge. So now we get the shooting gallery. 
of just shooting the bridge and shooting all the tan forces there for humor. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, the commentary will probably cut short at the end of this, but uh, we get promoted uh, to Corporal, and we get the uh, Blue Heart of Valor or something to that effect, and uh, we're promoted to Corporal. So uh, sign out. Thank you.